Good day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I welcome you back to the Library of Runia, where a new episode is released today. And as you can see, it is a continuation from the, from the loo with Zhao. So quite clearly, we're going to see a very special and very, very angry Zhao. Do I actually have the books required? Oh, thank God. So, let us head straight in and see what is going to happen. Fine. I don't need I need I don't need to hear another word from you. If you're so fearful of death, leave me and escape by yourself. I wouldn't I wouldn't have brought you with me if I was such a such a coward fearing for my life. There has to be some reason you've done this then. If your reasoning is unsatisfactory, know there will be consequences to your actions. Director, your battle will be nothing more than a messy scrape if you try to keep up in your current state, ma'am. You have to you have you have to have realized it yourself. Out of my way! Step aside! I am as composed as I can be. You can't even bet you can't even best your subordinate right now, Director. There is nothing composed about charging blindly into the fray and brandishing your sword like a madwoman. They're foes that we must destroy anyway. In fact, I would argue that it's better this way, as I can firmly grasp my blade with an undaunted heart unshaken by fear. Even if they were opponents that warrant such a fight, wielding your blade while you've lost yourself will only yield a pointless and juvenile revenge. They say anger is needed, is needed in order to face the enemy, but an excess of that emotion will ultimately hurt yourself. Fury shouldn't be the only motivation to bestir oneself. I thought you knew this well, Director. You're the one who taught me that I'll spill my own blood if I can't see the, where the, e the edge of my sword is pointed, after all. I have no resolve to show to those who have taken what is mine. They, they had the nerve to make an offer where we must put our lives on the line to earn it back. Such absurdity. Now tell me why I should treat them with any courtesy. Even then... That's not how Lowell would have reacted. So please, Yao, gather your senses. Miris, I am aware. I know what that the library didn't snatch Lowell and Section 2 away from us. I am well aware that they took a fair offer and made a bet and paid the rightful price for losing it. But what can I do when I simply cannot bring myself to accept that? Was it truly done of their own volition? Can anyone say with the utmost certainty that no coercion was involved in their decision? Whenever my mind was plagued with such thoughts, I couldn't make rational judgment. Is it because Chun and the other fixers are dead? Is that why you're acting like this? You would be right. At first I thought I only had to care about my own safety. As long as I could get my hands on Laurel's book. I decided that I wouldn't care about my surroundings, even if that meant I would have no one to rely on once everything was over. But as I saw my uh, my colleagues die out, die out. But as I saw my colleagues die out one by one, my mind began to waver. Am I truly going down the righteous path? Is it truly right as a human being to think of myself and only myself? When the many of those when the many of those who trusted me and followed me have perished, should I overlook their deaths and keep moving forward? If my selfishness is causing harm to others, shouldn't I stop it before it's too late? Shouldn't I save those who, are, who still have a chance? If I had to make a choice, who should be putting up with the hardship? Is it you or I? Miris, answer me. I'm no longer certain what I should put first. I'm not the one to give you an answer for that. How should I know? How should I know better than you? Better than you about yourself? You know I'm not in any way wiser than you. Here's what I can say, Zhao. 
None of the fixers who followed you here were forced by anyone to do so, and I'm no different. There can't be any com compulsion about trusting you and willingly following your lead, now can there? Call it heartless, but as with everyone else, if it was your if it was your power that we were after, we would have left you once your authority failed. Fair. You've stepped down from the loose section from the loose section loose section one. You're not in any position to pressure us anymore, and we aren't obligated by any duty to obey you. What you're saying is that I can stick to my belief and move on the same way you kept believing in me and acting and acted for me like a cup of tea that maintains its good scent after it after half is gone and a quarter of a day has passed Zhao don't you hear a sound that's not a good sign a warm and charming voice, almost as if it were out of this world. What are you talking about? I don't hear anything other than our own voices. What? You're wrong. No, maybe there is truth to what you, sa you said. Are you, call are you calling me selfish? No, I don't think so. A human cannot live alone. No man is an island in entire of itself. They need someone else, yes. Someone whom I will keep alive. Someone who will become the reason for me to keep on living, no matter what. Someone can be alive because I am there with them. As that person can li live thanks to me, I myself should not expire. A way to protect you to protect you all and myself at the same time. I shouldn't die. By cherishing myself, I am cherishing the people around me. Therefore, what you're saying isn't right. I won't be deceived by your temptation. Yes, I suppose this is what you meant when you said a selfish mind shouldn't be viewed negatively. Did you just get samurai armor, madam? Because that looks awesome. I'm sorry. I had let my emotions overwhelm me and failed to lead you rightly. This will be the last time I apologize to you and everyone else. Miris, I'm still in the dark and I cannot see ahead. I'm frankly afraid and I might stray onto the wrong path sometimes. However, I trust myself to return to the proper way as I stoutly press for onward. Just because I cannot see the way ahead does, it, does not mean that a way doesn't exist. Did she just ma- Did she manifest ego just now? That certainly resembled ego, although it was incomplete like Philip's. And she was mumbling to herself, but it sounded like she was talking to someone. The voice we couldn't hear, but Zhao could. Kinda like abnormalities. What do you mean by that? I can hear some sort of voices whenever I borrow strength from the abnormalities here. Probably the voice of the abnormality. The other librarians can't hear what I can't hear what I hear. The voice is only audible to one person. Sometimes a voice filled with rage rings through my head, and the other times a sorrowful wail. Alright, who are your abnormalities? Uh, bloodbath would probably be a sorrowful wail. Rage is probably the 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 queen. Um, I'm not sure what Pinocchio would class as, and I honestly can't. Re no, the heart. The heart is probably rage as well, actually. And my mind sort of gets sort of shaken by those voices somehow. Listening to it sometimes makes me feel something is boiling up inside me, or cooling my head down all of a sudden. Cooling your head, when one of your abnormalities is the, is the Ice Queen, eh, Roland? Subtle. I think the voice Zhao heard is different from the ones you and Gubara hear. In what way? 
The voices you hear will only say whatever they want to say, one-sidedly. I'm sure there are exceptions, but most will probably behave that way. On the other hand, Zhao was talking with the voice. She was in a conversation with whispers that seemed to want something to happen to her. Hmm, I'm not so sure. We don't have solid evidence to prove that the voice was different just yet. Anyhow, we've got to receive her before anything, before anything. The problem is how we're going to deal with that figurative beast of a person. Well, there's two of them, and I'm allowed two acts. Mirus, you've got a lot of stuff, I see. Uh, what's this right here? Oh, I'm not allowed to see your cards anymore. Is that how it, this get, how everything's changed? When, ta when targets hit by melee attacks from this character take burn damage at the end of the scene when they were attacked, they also take stagger damage equal to half of the burn damage. Oh yeah, I com completely forgot all about that stupid trait. You are horrible. What about you? You've got Raging Storm of Love. Coordinated Assault, which is a new one. Fiery Dragon Slash, which is also new. Huh. Force of a wildfire. On what melee hit, inflict one burn and force of a wildfire. Blah, blah, blah. We know about that. And then you take stagger da You deal stagger damage as well. Okay. So, who do I want to use against this? Because they're clearly the burn you alive team. Which, frankly, is tempting me to use the burn you alive team that I have. But it also tempts me to use the Boris team because of the simple fact that, you know, first, emotional turbulence is heavily countered by punishment. And second, they've just got grit. And grit works out well. Plus, I've got Rudolph in this team, which wants to get staggered, technically. But if I go with Tibereth, there's also my new, my new pod team, where she is burning things to a, where she will be bleeding everything. I'm going to start with the hot team, because the hot team is the o is pure slashing, and slashing is the only thing that properly gets them, and I didn't re-equip Blonder after I moved the purple tier, so that's about one of the bad sides about trying to use Gabara in this situation. So let's try my burn team. Go! Just don't have regrets. Yes, you can trust me now. Well, they each get three dice, which is kind of annoying. So let's see how the dice are issuated out. Oh, of course, shimmering. I forget that bullcrap. Coordinated assault. Combat start. Give one strength, two protection, and two, two stagger protection to a random ally. So in other words, I need to just spam kill one of you, right? That's what I'm hearing. I definitely think we just need to focus on Chun for a start. Oh, Eugene. Oh, how perfect your initial hand is. That f that fiery dragon slash is pretty meh, other than the fact it has a... What am I call it attached to it? That won't do any damage whatsoever. Because of the simple fact it simply can't. So this man is better off trying to inflict damage on something else. Ironically, repressed flesh works perfectly against against coordinated assault. I've somehow managed to do that. I have no clue how. All right, guys. Let's see how this initial round goes, okay? Let's turn quick mode on and go. Excellent. I don't know how you did that. I don't know how you did that. That was perfect. Well done. Awesome. Awesome. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. No smoke. Also unfortunate. But you didn't get staggered is the main thing, I suppose. Okay. Mirus has taken a lot of damage and he's going to be bleeding an awful lot now. He's also doing super big fucking mega attack, which we don't like. So how do I counter big giant screwing mega attack is the question. You have rapid, you have two cheap rapid gashes which will restore, which will cost nothing in the long, long run because your Eugene and that passive is bloody amazing. 
So, we can't counter that. Oh well, we can counter that. You've gained plus endurance for the scene. You've gained nothing. You're using fervid emotions too. You're getting attacked by that, which can't be... In which that is the best chance you have about avoiding it. You will level up. You will rank up in what I'm gonna call it next turn, so you'll be able to use the the cards you get from Leap, no matter what. You've got no no things, so you can interrupt those two attacks, and that's it. Deep dragging the the, the fervid emotions wouldn't be a bad idea, and then Inner Arbor is technically ignorable. Technically. As for you, you can quick suppression the single point stab and hope it works. And then, with that, you'll be able to rip space the Fiery Dragon Slash. Because you will have all the power you need from it. Mr. T-Man, no matter what you do, you are going to take an awful lot of damage, I feel. So you might as well vapor in the attempt to, at the very least, bypass the... Oh wait, no, maybe better off doing that first. Actually, no, that needs to get interrupted. And Eugen's probably the perfect one to interrupt that. Meaning you will be able to now just focus your vapor on him and hope. And hope. Alright, we're going to kill Mirus first. That's just the, e the end of the discussion. We're killing Mirus first. Alright, guys. Go. Ow. Ow. Okay, good. Nice. You beat that. Excellent. That's unfortunate. It was your best hope either way. Nice. Unfortunate. You're still alive. Okay. That actually worked out pretty decently. So I've got today's expression, alertness, which would actually basically guarantee almost that you're going to have your bonus speed every single time. And... Blocking. You know what? I'm gonna go for the bonus speed. Just because then you get 8 speed and then flashing strike becomes epic. Right. You've got 2 attacks on you. You've got 3 attacks on you. You've got 1 attack. No attacks, and no attacks. You've got 8 speed, so you can definitely intercept something. Specifically that, basically, potentially. I'm ge definitely guessing you alternate between... You alternate between who does the coordinated assault, don't you? And Mirus, you are definitely almost dead right now. So what are you getting hit by? You're getting hit by the fervid emotions. Which is annoying. And... Emotional turbulence. Just as annoying. You're getting attacked by two things, which is Inner Arbor, which you can just take, and then Fiery Waltz, and you basically don't ha have any problems with that. I'm gonna switch the Purple Tear to the Slashing Stance, in which you basically get crap all. The actual fuck, man. Alright, let's see. You get plus three st- you've got no smoke on you, you get plus three st- th three power. That becomes 7 to 11. 7 to 11. 6 to 10. 6 to 11. It's a very big shame you can't undo the the stance change, you know? Quite unfortunate. You know what? Flesh filleting you might, is probably my best bet with that. And then as for that, I don't have much hope for anything. Okay, guys. I suspect Mirus will die this round. Alright, so kill him. Wow. Good work, Buttercup there, actually. That was actually very decent for what it could have been. That's unfortunate. That's what I like to see. And that's unfortunate that he died before you could get your bonus cards. Right, let's go with social distancing on you. Yeah, 
the music changes to be in my favor. But that bloody hurts. Screw you. You can't even defend against it. Bracken, you're f bloody screwed this round. End of. Mr. T-Man, you are more than likely staggered by the end of this round. Whether you die or not will be another matter. But yeah, this is gonna hurt this round because of that mass attack. Everyone go. You're not dead! Unlike maybe you. Wow, Hot actually got what I'm gonna call it, did she? Well, you know what? Let's go with the funny prank and try and see what we can do. Uh, Sanguine Desire. You know what? If someone can use it... Alright, Eugene. This is the round where everyone is dead and we're gonna have to switch to someone next round. So... Because you cannot survive that, but hopefully you might be able to destroy it you, you, those dice, using the other thing. She's got so much counter dice, there's no point trying to attack with anything else. Alright, just go, Eugene, and pray. What the fuck? Wait, that's not a mass attack? Then why did she go first? It was equal speed, you bloody fucking bastard. Don't be a prick. Dot, dot, dot. You have all died. No one remains by my side. In here, you fought with me till the end and perished. I feel lonely as a dragon soaring in the air, my heart heavy with regret. I only see darkness. I cannot see a step ahead. Where must I go? Where does the courage to put one's foot f forward come from? What did you believe in so firmly until your last moments? Was it the hope that we will emerge victorious, a strong leader, or the goal of earning the books? I sadly won't be able to hear your answers now. However, as the breath of life mom momentarily rests inside us before it scatters to return to its source, I will meet you again one day, and I may ask you, ask you my question then. You again. You're one persistent conversationalist, aren't you? Are you not? I won't collapse or succumb to fear out of the despair I brought onto myself. There's nothing that hu that a human, that I cannot overcome. I believe that I will reach the ideal consequence if I remain steadfast and proceed with perseverance. I sincerely in ingen in ingenuously believe this. No, there's no need to be disheartened in the face of such a thing. Without despair, Hope w won't be needed either. Fear is born, fear is born for there is a hope, but bravery is born because there is fear. Without all these, there is no life, and what is life without a reason to live? So why would I not bask in this sensation of, of vitality? I will still fight for my own sake. Not to disregard the colleagues who gave their lives for me. No, rather I would be disregarding their sacrifice if I gave up here because of what happened to them. I don't see myself ever agreeing with your words. A lone tree cannot form a forest on its own, you say. An interesting tale. Did you just upgrade or something? No. No, you didn't. Alright, madam. You had about 200 HP left, meaning I've got a, a number of choices. A. I send you to the team. Which will just pretty much resist you. Or I send the t you to the team which will burn you to a crisp. It's not really a competition in the end. It's really not real much of a competition. Alright, Glob! Go! Maybe not die! I said maybe not die, please. I mean, you took out both counter dice. I can't ask for more than that. Really?
I'm sorry, madam. You are about to burn pretty damn heavily. We quite frankly just need to burn this woman to a crisp, guys. So... Yeah, I expected you to lose those. I did it for the bottom of call it. I'd hoped you'd do better than that. Okay, what do we got? Fair ashes, ashes, yes please. Always the ashes. I don't know why they bothered giving Zhao frontal assault when she has shimmering. It just seemed to, seems like a, a waste of a card, you know? All right, Malkuth, earn your new, earn your new page because this is going straight onto you when you eventually win it, you know? Go. Nice job there, Leaf. I love how I've got Leaf in the, in the floor that likes to burn everything. Can we respect that irony? Why do I get the feeling you're just gonna resurrect yourself the moment I... Oh my god, you're taking no damage. What the hell is going on? This is bad. Something is gonna happen. Something is about to happen, and I don't know what it is, and I don't think I like what it's going to be. So... Victory. That's a bad sign. Zhao. You have all died. Uh... I've already read this. Sadly, I won't be able to hear your answers now. Breath of life. Yala, yada, yada. You're, conf you're a persistent conversationalist, aren't you? Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. I will fight for everything that I am worth. Yada, yada, yada. The fuck is this? I hate the fact I'm not even allowed to see the cards. Anymore. All dice power. Game plus one. Game plus one. At the start of the scene, inflict two but burn to all enemies. Activates every two scenes. All characters not influenced by any effect on power. All characters are not influenced by any effect on power for the scene. Every scene uses a combat page that de that gr that deals stagger damage to self, but grants strength if it loses a clash. It loses in a clash. Stagger resist is not fully recovered even if the character is restored from stagger or the act ends. So I am meant to basically kill her in the very first run. Or she's meant to go into this form after I lost. Hey? When inflicted by a status ailment, reduce the amount by half. Rounded down. Takes no damage from burn. Well that good sirs, it's called a restart because fuck that. So. We know she takes no damage from burn. In the second round. So using Malkuth's team just to try and burn her down for the first round isn't the worst, and then using Hod to just bleed her to death for the final round isn't the worst idea. There's also the idea of using Netzak in order to just stagger them to death because of all this bonus stagger that Mind Whip and Energy Strike does. Not being the worst idea either. However, I still think that using Malkuth for the first round just to get to the, the ego phase is what should happen. And in addition, I'm not sure if I meant to enter the ego phase the moment someone dies, or whether that just played at the wrong time for no reason, or they don't expect people to suck like me and get killed on the first round. Who knows? So what are they doing? Emotional turbulence. Of course you are. I just realized we're actually fighting her using her dead companion. That's kind of rude of me to say the least, isn't it? In fact, I'm also using her dead lover. <laughs> there is a limit to how rude one should ever be. And I have I think I am li and I I think I am pushing it right now. <laughs> okay. Everyone is clashing in some way, so we should all reach emotion level whatever by the end of this fight. Or this round. God damn you. 
Excellent. Amazing. Brilliant! Go screw yourself. Unfortunate, but okay. We got all good so we can get ashes and put it onto Malkuth. Despite the fact Malkuth is getting screwed. So this person wants to do the Flaming Dragon Fist. Well, ironically, I can do the Flaming Dragon Fist, so go screw yourself. Mr. Tanky has four attacks on him. I'm not actually I'm not actually disappointed in that. That's exactly what we want Mr. Tanky to be doing. Okay, guys. Uh, let's just see how this goes. I'm not convinced it's going to go well, but we're going to have a check all the same. That went well. That went, it went amazing. That went about as well as I expected. That one was unfortunate. What the fuck? I can't do anything about that. Unfortunate. Fuck off with your minimum rolls! I'm getting fed up with them! She needs to start burning. And luckily she is, too. So, what are the attacks this time? You're getting attacked twice, once by that, which is Rhino Rammable, and by that, which is not Rhino Rammable, but... Malkuth isn't getting attacked, but also at the same time doesn't exactly have much going for her, because she has no bloody... Energy. Neither does Kian, but he's getting attacked twice. Neither by good moves, because they can't gain any energy! Because they can't get any speed to be able to clash with people, because they're bloody losers! You're not attacking, and of course you roll a 1 for one of your attacks. What the hell is wrong with you? You're getting attacked by Frontal Assault. We don't give a damn about Frontal Assault. You know what? We do care about Frontal Assault. Because Frontal Assault is easy to beat with this, with Flow of the Sword. And it'll get you your Flash Points to be able to rank up, which is the main thing. As for Kian. Poor, poor Kian. Kian, you are, for all intents and purposes, just going to have to take the beating. Probably get staggered, and if you're lucky, do something amazing. All right, go. I have no idea what happened then. You lost to a frontal assault. Are you? F you lost with your big ability, but won with the secondary ability. Beginning to hate this. Let me guess. Oh, yay! This fight is balanced, isn't it? No, I'm fucking restarting. I'm gonna try it with Netzak this time and just see how it goes because I doubt it can get worse. Why the fuck is everyone attacking the one person that has a weakness? What the actual fuck? Fuck off, game! That is not fair! That is just not fair! This time, I'm just going to fully focus into Mirus, because I doubt I can actually get you staggered before you do your mass attack. So I'm just going to rely on various different other factors for the mass attack, such as not fucking losing every single goddamn clash! Okay? Okay! Fuck off! Fuck off! Where is that power coming from? There is no power! Fuck off! Fuck off with that ball! Especially you! Fuck off with that bull!
What do I- where's the laughing powder? Give me the goddamn laughing powder. Here's the- the goddamn laughing powder. We need the goddamn laughing powder. Okay. You're doing fervid emotions. Oh! DR Shiny, could you answer me a question, please? Just- just purely out of interest, but where are all your fucking gain charge cards? Eh? Where? You're meant to have some. Now this turn, Zhao has Fragile, meaning we should focus on attacking Zhao instead of Mirus. Because Mirus is going to get to protection thanks to Coordinated Assault being of such a fucking BS ability. Alright, so let's just say, yes, that's perfectly fair. Expected. Not expected, actually. I... Fucking Christ, Nezak. Hit the ability that matters. And you! Do s Okay, you did something. Never mind. That wasn't you. I thought you were someone else. You know, I just realized this is team fucking endurance. Because it's the team that always does all the big abilities, isn't it? Alright, let's see what's happening this time. Uh, oh, you want to, what am I call it? Fiery Waltz, the person who's got four flame on them. How about fuck off? As for Mirus, what is with your fascination with attacking this man? Out of it, purely out of interest. Because you seem extremely eager to do it. This is absolutely atrocious, but we're going to anyway! Yes, that's what I like to see. I expect that. Aha! Uh -huh. So close! That's expected! You could have done better then! You need to fucking hit that ability. Okay. Well then. Hmm. Now I can take tentacles. Because we like our tentacles. And of course this is the turn you're doing that. And I have no fucking chance in hell of avoiding it. What the fuck am I meant to do against that? It's 20. Nothing beats a 20. Fuck off, game. It is just not fair. It is not possible. Mostly because I can't re actually reduce it using fucking what am I call it dice. And the fact Mirus isn't dead yet as well is also equally just atrocious. At least there's no a coordinated assault this turn to make it absolutely completely bull BS. And then you're just getting triple teamed. You can't survive this round, Guardsman. You're dead. You are just dead. Alright, now that you guys have just been screwed over, let's just see how this goes. Holy hell, you staggered the fucking bastard. I am actually impressed. But as I say, Guardsman's dead. Meaning all of us are gonna start burning now. Strykel's dead. You're dead. There is no fucking way to win this with a singular team, and then we have to fight the next phase with a singular team when it's designed to fight it with two! Fuck off! This isn't possible! I have tried hard. I have tried Malkuth. I have tr- I have tried Netzach. Now it's time to try Tibereth. Just to see what the fuck I can do with this. For the love of God, proc the tears. And then I can just devastate someone.
plus Tibereth has the best music. Honestly. <laughs> Don't you fucking hate it when you get a charge deck and none of the char the game charge cards appear on the first round? All right, let's see how atrocious this first round becomes. Nice, nice. Not bad. Bad. Good. Good. Bam, expected. Also expected. Fuck you. You blocked one! Sword. S uh, where's my sword?! Fuck you! Alright, Sydney. Cindy, you're just going to use your bowing for the bullseye to immediately remove that counter dice right there. And if you don't remove that counter dice right there, there is something wrong and I'm going to restart. Because this game is starting to get really annoying with how fucking rigged it is. But, no matter. Okay, guys. Let us go and see how atrocious you guys managed to do, do for me this time. Holy hell! That was a significant amount of damage! Well done! I don't know how you managed to roll the maximum number every single time like it's nothing! Please, tell me your secret! Because this is getting to be a fucking joke! Look, 11! Can you roll below double digits? Actually, please! No! You can't! Oh wait, that's me. Never mind. Alright, you're doing nothing so that you can probably will of the prescript next turn. You are gonna have enough light to be able to bulky impact, which is your best bet against the big major attack. You are going to have enough for re Lee Regal, which is again your best bet against the, the big major attack. You are going to have Dragon Fist. Yeah, you will have Dragon Fist next turn, which means you will succeed the big major attack. I hope you have it anyway. Yeah, you should do because the concentration is going to beat the other one, isn't it? At least yes is the answer, because if no, restart. Alright, guys? Let's pray. Because that's what we really need to do. Well, we've lost. get the fucking dice from? Why can't I get my fucking Sword of Tears? You know what, Zamara? Just do that. You're now fatal to fucking piercing. Like that matters. Because you're gonna die this turn, probably, anyway because of this fucking stupid ability that can't roll less than double digits! Ever! Don't attack Cindy! What's wrong with Cindy? Cindy's a good girl! Stop attacking Cindy! Maxim, how much of a badass do you want to be? Because simply put, if you do that, you will stagger him, which will save Cindy. And I just pray it procs first. All right, Maxim. Badassery! All right, you only hit 11. That's not too bad.
Alright, you're staggered and you're staggered, which frankly is kind of expected, but you're attacking none of the staggered people! Ha-ha! Ha-ha! We have a chance! I'd prefer you not to be atta attacked by either of those abilities, quite frankly, but you're being attacked by a seven, so you don't have much choice in the matter. But also, they're both weakened, meaning you should be able to will up the prescripted and live. Live. As for Maxium, he's being attacked by the Fiery Dragon Slash. Does he care? Of course he doesn't. He is Maxium. He's just gonna... She is Maxium, even. She's just going to Rhino Ram and see what it can be done. As for Cindy, Cindy is fucked. Cindy's best bet is to... Back streets to try and get the health and survive the entire encounter, okay? Let's see, you've got seven burn on you, which is pretty nasty. You've got four burn, which is nothing. Alright, guys. Go. Excellent. Excellent. Well, you didn't get hit by this, the piercing damage, which is the main thing. Well, bye, Cindy. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna give this to you because you're about to succeed. Uh, yes! Is it Nick? Seal of Dice next round. And you've got one. What am I call it, dice, pal? Okay, guys. This is the last turn Zhao should be alive. Let's just hope you guys can remain that way as well, considering you've got eight burns, so you're dead next turn no matter what. You have... you're fine. You're... may... you may have trouble. You... hmm... go. Either way. Take her down! Oh fuck, you're dead. How is a four a fail? Alright then. You know what? I'm going with Magical Girls and giving it to Maxium. No, Chun. Should I do Chun? I'm going with Chun. And then I can go with Nate. In the name of love and hate. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've seen this scene set three times already. We're ready to begin our damage. Somehow, some way, we're going to do something to this person. Every all debuffs carry over, right? Each turn inflict two burn on all enemies. Right. Let's begin then. Even if I am alone, night will come. And every night is followed by dawn. A mist star that will fade cannot hope to best the light of the rising sun. Be prepared, for today a star of the city shall be gone. You know what? I've listened to this music already. It is goddamn awesome, this music. Reversed scale? What the hell is that? If the die targeted as reverse scale loses a clash, deals 70 stagger damage to self, and gain 4 strength and endurance next scene. 70 stagger damage? You are on! This page prompts no action because it has no- because it has no non-counter dice. Fair enough. Isn't every attack on- on you? So if I remove that, isn't every attack on you? Yes, it is Zamara. So honestly, I could- I could, probably shouldn't, I could just use you as cannon fodder this turn. Just so that we can live. 
Also, although I do need to make sure I hit that a, a target that ability. What the fuck is this? Futile hate. Because if that fails to hit, if that doesn't get hit, then everything should be better. I just realized how many counter dice you're using. Fuck. Um... No matter, fight all the same! You guys are cannon fodder either way. Well, oh, bye! Oh, you're alive! How the fuck did you fail that much? You did well! You sacrifice not in vain, Zamara! Because all we need to really do is make sure Maxium gets to 20 charge. Chun Wun, if user has burn, recover 4 HP and two, gain 2 protection next scene. Inflict 2 burn to each other. Okay. Well, you've got three, para three paralysis on you, so that is going to be very weakened. You've got so much counter dice, I don't think it's actually worth trying to do anything to you that it that needs a counter dice, you know? So let's just go. Boom! Boom! Oh. Does Tibbereth just burn now? Well, she's got, still got her passive to proc either way, so... You know what? Acidic Sludge! And then... I can probably blind rage willy-nilly now, can't I? Alright. Let's blind rage. What's happening this turn? Mass attack, mega, mega ability. Ha. Huh. Okay. On use, gain two s strength and endurance next scene. You've got plus five strength. Thank you for the Rhino Ram. It was your only hope. <laughs> Either that, or I just fucking tank it. No. No, that's a stupid idea. That is an extremely stupid idea. Because you're going to take that next turn. Tibbereth! I've got no other choice for you. Go! Ha! Burn! And uh, now I'm staggered, right? No, I'm not! But I am... Probably dead. Ooh, but if I can reverse, successfully reverse scale. Ooh, this is basically reliant on the fact that she does. What's your strength? Three. So that will become seven to twelve, meaning that won't do enough. I don't think I have anything that will do enough. So, uh. Tibbereth, good luck at doing the stagger! Fuck! <laughs> well... It kinda worked. Now... Now... We're all about doing stagger damage to you now, right? So... I could either go with the purple tear, or the bleeding, to try and abuse that. Or, I go with Netzak to try and just ta outlast you until you are staggered. Especially as he reduces max stagger resist. Oh yes! Go! Right, you gain plus two power to everything, is the thing. Noted. How can we start this off? You are taking no hits. Netzak is taking that. 
He can concentrate against it. You, you're taking a six, meaning you can't avoid it. Meaning you have to take that. Meaning you're going to have to do anything you can to kind of resist it. And frankly, that's your best bet for resisting it. Just minimizing it. And then you're doing the, re the reversed scale, are you? Hmm. I have two choices. I can mind whip to guarantee it's going to, to work. And just take the other hit. Which is in every way the best choice I have. Nullify power. We don't use power because we have Boris. <laughs> Oh, I love how it nullifies yourself as well. Wait, if it nullifies yourself as well, does that mean the you're going to... You don't have the plus two power this turn. Huh. That's an interesting concept. Alright, Team Netzak, go! No! Take your stagger! I will take the hit! Ha! Expect it! Expect it! Ooh, nice. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Ha! Ha! Our job is simply to endure you. To outlast you. To make sure he attacks you with a piercing attack as much as possible every single goddamn round. Oh, you get plus five strength this scene. Ah, oh, that's gonna make river ignoring that reverse thing significantly harder. Unless I Boris you! Get Boris! I love how that's a verb! <laughs> Go! Unfortunate, expected, also expected. That was kind of a throwaway when, once I realized how much bonuses she's gaining. Oh, fuck off! course on the round he's staggered you're gonna mass attack actually fuck you you got plus five strength this turn but you nullify all what I'm gonna call it power gain meaning that any we don't actually have the worst chance to survive your little power attack right there all right go Fortunate. So close. Why do you roll the exact same number? Okay, I think we've lost two people this round. Yeah. Great. Striker is parallel is what I'm gonna call it. I don't even know what I just clicked. Ooh! 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 If I can fragment to somewhere, she's gonna be stunned this round no matter what. Here's the fun thing. If I hit that reverse scale, you're staggered. And we have 20 fucking burn on us. Jesus Christ. How the fuck is this actually meant to be bloody ever-loving possible? Alright, so the moment you win with that, you are... Reduce the power of dice by four. She's gaining plus seven, meaning it's a seven. Meaning that... Fuck. You know what? Fuck that, then. No, wait. It's still doing all the- I 
can't win! How do you have plus fucking seven strength? It's my best bet. It's my only bet. It would help if when I attack, the attack which does the stagger damage with the attack, it actually does the fucking attack! What the actual fuck, game? I targeted it! DON'T FUCK WITH ME! WHAT IS YOUR OBSESSION WITH ABSOLUTELY FUCKING WITH ME?! GAME! No, fuck you. Sure, yeah, paralyzed. That, yeah, totally. Just a casual 26. Totally reduced. I better get a sword with tears. Oh, of course I don't. I get the other two. Why can't you give me the good one? You've got triple paralysis this turn. Watch as you still roll a fucking 20 on that stupid ability. Holy fuck, we survived it. Okay, guys, somehow win. ARE YOU FUCKING KIDDING ME?! NO! FUCK OFF! FUCK OFF! FUCK OFF! Well done! We're at the two and a half hour mark, which means this has now taken me longer than the Night of Despair. Good job! You have now created something that's more BS than the Night of Despair. Fuck you. Sure, that makes sense. Exact same ability, but my number, I lose every single roll. What are the chances of that game? Because I'm getting fucking fed up. Oh, of course, yay. I love how Dragon's Fist can't roll below 20. Every single time, it can't roll below 20. This is just the music I needed right now. Alright. Alright. That is also the sort of numbers I needed. Thank you, Gabara. You're already putting me into a better mood. Okay. Let's do this. Go. That's what I expect to see. Nice. Even numbers is what I expect. You, I knew you would fail. I was planning on that. I wasn't planning on you succeeding one of those. Wow, really, Gabara? Vengeance. Baron, start your vengeance spree. All right, round two. Let's go. What happens when you start annoying Parafox? He gets fucking mad. At least it didn't roll over 20 like normal. Right. Ferris is doing the coordinated assault. You do not have the any the ma the ability to do that. No matter, Gabara. The fact I am very tempted to just onrush it and see what happens. In fact, you know what? Fuck it. Onrush the bastard and see if you can kill him. 
please. In fact, you should be able to kill him because you get plus five power, which should just level him. Baron, take the hit. By taking the hit, you're simply going to prove my point about you and how awesome you can be. All right, Gabara, go. Kill the little so-and-so. Yes, Baron, take the damage. You avoided one. That is actually more than I was expecting. Excellent. Now then. Improved counter dice for Gabara. Or... Improve Clashing and HP Recovery. Hmm. I'm leaning towards the HP Recovery, if anything, actually. Mostly for Baron. Yeah. Yeah! Eat them, Baron! Alright, Baron, I won't deny this is mostly a chat question of whether you can succeed. And given the fact you got plus six strength, I have high hopes that you can. Go! Everyone avoids the second attack. No one avoids the third, third attack. Which, frankly, is kind of expected. Time for you to start dying, Zhao! I've had enough of you! And now, Zhao, we're gonna fight your phoenix form. Because you're not a dragon, goddammit! You're a goddamn phoenix! Look at that! That is a phoenix, if you have ever seen one! So, you know what's so funny about this? You inflict burn every round. And you know what Burn does? Burn does damage. Guess what he takes? What happens when he get, takes damage? That's right, he gets healed. No, wait, he, he gets strength! That's what I mean. Right. We take no bonus strength this round. Oh god. Theoretically, you gain your strength. If we, if we, what am I call it, counter that. So if we simply don't counter that, then you won't have the plus strength next turn, which is frankly what we need. Gabara, on the other hand, does need the plus strength. There's also no power gain this particular one, meaning... Gabara won't be able to benefit from Miu's bonus. In addition, you technically are mildly less effective. Alright, guys, go! Let's show this woman the power of the Red Mist! That's right. We didn't counter your attack this time, meaning you're not going to get your bonus strength. But you know what else we can do? We can just work on ripping you to shreds. Yes! Yes! Absorption. Baron. Ooh, but now we get this. Mimicry. I'm very tempted to go with the, the Scar just to, for the synchronization. Hmm. But Mimicry is very good. Screw it! You live for nothing! Red Scar! Guess what you're becoming? You've got plus one strength this, this, this scene. 
In addition, you get plus one strength normally. We have plus three strength this turn, but we won't next turn. Meaning the point there's no point in us using the focus spirit. We can, however, do that to make you fucking bleed. Let's Gabara. Manifest your ego. Restore six light. Oh, if we restore six light, we might as well use fucking everything then, shouldn't we? No, you know what? No, no. We're doing it. We're doing it. You're manifesting your ego. Alright? You're countering that. You're gonna just, what am I call it? Counter dice that, because you can. Because you're awesome. Baron, you have not much bonus this, t this scene. The only counter dice he has is the counter dice he receives from, what am I calling it? You need to just focus at the moment on gaining your, what am I call it? Your blade unlock stance. You, however, need to get as much charge as you possibly can. Just so that we can start benefiting from that. I don't know if that fully restores our life or something either. You know what? That's actually a pretty decent block. So you know what? You can use that immediately. And then you can use energy conversion. Alright, everyone! Go! 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 Gabara power! Screw you! That's fucking ridiculous. Ha! Bad. Fuck. Go, Baron, go! Teach her the power of the Sweeper! You only blocked one, I was expecting you to block both. Yeah! What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Um... Abnorm- Oh, right, you're- you exist. I forgot about that. That's what's going on. Right. You're not mass att- Oh, wait, you are mass attacking this turn. Now, we don't want to counter the reverse scale this turn. That's the key thing we gotta remember. Strike without hesitation. Beast hunt. You have three counter dice this time. Not particularly many. But... Potentially still too many. Alright, guys. Go. Yeah! Yeah! Beat into her! my voice then. Okay, so here's the thing. Hmm. Huh. Ooh. Ooh. I could do even more healing with Baron. You are dead. I'm not saving you. Gabara isn't. You heal passively. Especially as you've got instincts. I might I'm probably better off using vampirism on Gabara. And now we get to choose our thing. In which I feel like choosing Mimicry. Although I have been told that Smile, you've got... Why do you have plus five strength? Did I block you when I shouldn't have? Let's go with Smile. Are you gaining strength each and every round or something? Is 
that's what hap is that what's happening? Okay, let's see. This is individual. It's also supposedly. It's also a case of the fact she just has a, a thing for counter dice, which is also kind of bad. So if we just target the counter dice, there's nothing she can do against us. Or you're attacking Gabara with that. Gabara's probably staggered next round, honestly, looking at looking at these things. Luckily, she's going first to interrupt that, though, is the main thing. Unless I get you to interrupt it, because you get plus six strength anyway. Yeah! Yeah! Put that into use! And the question is, what's better? The answer is obvious. You're going to spear that. Then, someone else, like Blonda, can... Interrupt that. Alright, guys. This is the last round, probably, where we're going to get... Our... Some of our bonus strength. Quite simply. Looking at these things. I mean, sure, she's got resistance versus that, but she doesn't even have... Enough HP to justify these things. If I get you to ready up, that should work. All right, what can you do? Indivi an individual attack. You can also do this. You know what? Quite frankly, beast hunt it, and then hollow point the other the other stuff. In two rounds, you'll be able to castigation, which means it would be useful. You can use it against. Oh, oh! I just thought of a better thing to do. First up. Because you're dead anyway, we might as well have you do the mass attack so that you don't waste your light. Next. You can castigation. There's no point castigationing that. You won't win. Maybe that, just so that outsider can live a bit longer. All right, guys. Oh, yeah, and then Blonder, because you're getting hit, you can do that before it hits you, okay? Okay. Let's see if you actually survive, Blonder. Let's go, everyone! Take your feeble and stuff. Yes! Go, Gabara, go! Go Blunder, go! Oh, you're still up. No, you're not alive, actually. Never mind. You blocked the big attack. That's the important thing. All right. I don't know why you're staggered. I could have sworn you did all of the damage you needed to do. Are you doing a mass attack? No, you're not. What's that? Bin An. Draw one page. Alright. Man, you really want to attack, but attack what I'm going to call it this turn, don't you? Actually, funny enough, if we counter that, you will get staggered this turn. So, let's make sure we do that, and then basically stop, what am I call it, Baron from dying. Hey, Sound like an idea? Sounds like an idea to me. That doesn't matter. That, you can actually counter with your own thing. You're unaffected by power this turn, so basically you just want to do the big things that you know will work. In addition... You do kind of want to get as much light as possible. But also avoid getting staggered. Kabara will be back next round. Okay, guys. Go! Did nothing, but it was something.
That's unfortunate. Yes. Yes! Now everyone takes their burn damage. Oh yes, Baron. Would you like to finish her off? I think you would. You have earned it, Baron. But we all know Gabar is going to come and steal the kill. I'm just not risking the fact she could live, so... Castigation will work. In fact, Gabara, no. You're gonna do the spear. Just because I want to do my best to make sure Baron gets the kill. Because I think Baron has earned it today. I love how the sweeper is still one of my most... The suicide build is still my most powerful asset. Okay. It has been three and a half hours, basically. Fucking die! I can rest without regret knowing you'll... I love how we can't read that. Two books of Mirrors, two books of Zhao. Ugh. And a hot rullet brawler and a twinkling analyst. And a twinkling analyst for Outsider who died at the very end due to burn. Damn, if he had actually lived, he'd have probably gotten the hot, bro hot b blooded brawler too. Unfortunate for him. Yes! In the end, Zhao has become a book. She didn't break down like the other kid wi with the power did, at least. I was actually amazed by how unswerving her determination could be. Lost deep in thought again? What is it this time? I've been thinking about the distinctions between the ego and the distortion after watching Philip and Zhao. The two were very similar yet different. They clearly had some things in common, but the contrast was apparent as well. Really? Tell me your thoughts then. I think there is something that one can restrain from reach from reaching the point of can restrain from reaching the point of the distortion. They both had highly unstable emotions, enough to touch the threshold of manifesting ego or distortion, and those emotions had a similar nature. Egoism. As in the mindset of only caring about your own interest? That's it. The two interpreted that same selfish, self, selfishness in desperate... Desperate rate. Do you mean desperate or separate ways, however? Because that selfish mind had the potential to change the self, the two were able to take a form resembling ego adept incompletely. Philip's mindset was flawed even in his awakening, however. He still had, he still had distrust in the back of his mind. I think Zhao had the same problem too. She didn't look like she had full conviction at the start. It took some time for her to make up her full make up her mind. That's where the two differ, as far as I can see. It had something to do with the voices only they could hear, I believe. The voices, huh? Indeed, Philip's mind was in such a vulnerable state, even Oswald's world words could crack him. Would crack him. I don't know what the dis dis disembodied voice Pluto told Philip to pay close attention to said, or if the voice really was the last straw that broke him. But I could speculate a little based on what we saw of Zhao. She didn't give in to the voice whispering to her. Instead, her will solidified further. And she manifested, and she managed to fully manifest her own ego. Right. She was able to resist the voice's snare. I wonder why she could. It might be what... It might be what she said said when she first came here. The precious things and whatever. All the things that motivate humans to live, to be precise. I guess it's not something that can be pr pinned down to one specific element. Each person cherishes different things. Maybe ego is the thing that keeps one from crossing the line of the distortion. It's like walking a tightrope at times. One wrong step and you crash to the ground. I suppose you're right, Roland. It's weird, though. It can't be possible to make any change with just willpower in this world. That's not how the city wor this city works. Maybe the world is about to change, then. It's not as simple as that. 
If this power really has the potential to shift the ecology of the city, the head would take action at any time. Even if the head, the head does intervene, the, it won't make a difference. We'll simply greet them as guests like any other. Aren't you confident? I'm not gonna get a single page of mirrors, am I? I just want coordinated assault more than anything. And maybe the fiery dragon. But you. Those abilities look awesome. Give them to me. No, give me the page! I can take it back! Give me the page! Damn it! <laughs> ah! Fuck! <laughs> oh, well. Well, I got like a qu- I got- a couple of decent pages, I guess. Lots of coordinated assault, at least. That's interesting. A dice that's just pure counter dice. And then that. Why is that three? That's garbage for three. On hit, gain two strength, next scene. That's decent. Well, that just means I'm gonna have to fight her again. Which means Gabara's just gonna have to one-shot her again. Well, everyone, I am desperately out of time, so it looks like what can I say other than thank you all for joining me today. I've been your host, the Power of Fox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I hope to see you all again next time, despite the fact of how much I rate. But until then, it is time for me to bid the all farewell, good day, and finally, good night.